Hi folks, I've got a Sofa and Q8 Plus to show you and have a chat about today. Uh, very, very similar to the Q8 Pro, hence me having them alongside each other. There are, as you can imagine, some pretty clear differences between the two, uh, but size-wise, very much the same. But uh, we're on 11,000 lumens for the, for the Pro and 1,600 lumens on the Q8 Plus. You can bump up the output to higher than 16,000 uh, 16, by using uh, high drain batteries. We'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, the Pro is powered by four 18650s, whereas the Plus is three 21700s. And then crucially, six 50Bs in there as opposed to four. Busting out of the way a second. Comes one of the new style so for in boxes, let's get rid of that. The manual, let's get rid of that. Powered by Andrew 2, so we've got the um, uh, the user face that we're probably all familiar with now, either the simple or the advanced user face. Uh, so far, have tweaked the um, the simple user face somewhat. Let's have a quick look. And when I say modified interface, what I'm referring to in particular is, is this part. Let me zoom in a touch. So here's the usual settings for the simple UI. And as you can see, your full power output isn't actually available in the simple UI, uh, which some consider to be a little bit of a nuisance. Um, I think Sofern probably did. Um, looking at Sofern's version, as we can see, if I can get it right, our full power output is available on the simple UI. Um, a small tweak, but a really, really useful one, meaning we can use the simple UI without having to go into the advanced and still get our full output. I might like that in that um, I don't need to jump over to the uh, to the advanced user face unless I really, really want to. So it's going to come out of the box with that full power available. The only thing you might consider uh, tweaking around with which I haven't done with this um, and that's its thermal regulation I was quite happy with how it performed um, I'll show you that uh, towards the end of the video but I was getting well into a minute and a half uh, without tinkering around with the, with its thermal step down and I was really happy with that so I've just kept it on it simple but by all means if you want to go in and have a tweak around you can uh, we've got access to it stepped or ramped modes I've just left it by default power indicator there on the button really simple one click on one click off I've got it in its seamless ramping you can see it's quite a fast ramp you don't get much more straightforward than that do you so let's have a look at the specs on the web page before we take it out and um, show you what it can do. I think I'll drag along the um, the Pro as well and we'll have a look at the two alongside each other. Jumping back to um, the reference on the web page concerning using high drain batteries. Um, high drain batteries I usually think uh, in the 2100 size range, something like this, the Molly Cell 45B. Um, and this is what they call a 10C rating. And, and what that means is, uh, C, it C is the capacity. And the 10, what you do there, you get your capacity of your battery, in this case 4,500, times it by 10, equals 45 amps. So if this battery is capable of providing 45 amp drain, it's classed as a 10C battery. I hope that makes sense. Um, looking at the... The one supplied with the sofa using the same sums 5000 uh, times by 10 50,000 equals 50 amps so this appears to be also marked as a 10c rated battery but um, i really don't think that it is so what we'll do we'll have a look at the um, the relative outputs on my lux meter using the light with these two particular batteries so first up is our sofa ferns them in there.
what are we getting on the lux meter? 634. Okay, let's, uh, let's pause and swap them out. Let's try our molly cells. Started at over 700. Yeah, quite a bit more. In fairness, though, um, the actual cost of the the three twenty one seven hundred batteries, if you're purchasing the uh, the kit, I think it's about ten dollars for three. Whereas when you're looking at something uh, like the Molisol, you're looking at sort of more like ten UK pounds each, something like that. So I really wasn't expecting uh, to be getting uh, ten C rated batteries supplied with the light, despite what it says. On the side uh, what I did do as well out of curiosity um, is take the wrapper off and actually see well I was hoping that it was going to be marked underneath and kind of tell me what cell they'd actually used um, but alas it isn't so I've absolutely no idea what these are other than, as it says on the web page, you do get more if you do use high drain 10C rated batteries. So Fern Q8 Plus, uh, let me put a picture in where I am. I'm using the uh, the standard batteries that it came with uh, and I'm in the simple UI and as you recall though, on the simple UI we can get full power and we get a decent run time as well on the, on the full, full power as you recall. And let's ramp up. A very fast ramp. And, oh my god, look at that. That is just throwing light absolutely everywhere. And this type of place that I'm in at the moment with all these trees around me kind of fa favours this floody, floody type beam, if that's the right description. And as you can see, I'm not moving the torch, I'm just moving the camera around. It's throwing it absolutely everywhere if there's anybody around here tonight they'll certainly know I'm here with this um, let's move a little bit further on and I'll try it against the um, the Q8 Pro and I'll also try some different batteries in it as well and see if we can uh, discern any power difference well we know there is a power difference but it's that blooming bright I'm not sure that we're going to notice it so uh, I'll stop here and we'll move along to the to the next spot. A touch further on, folks. Uh, let me show you where I am <coughs> with the Q8 Plus. And let's just go for it. Oh my! I mean, <laughs> that is just a, an immense amount of light thrown everywhere isn't it and then down the side of this lake you can see how phenomenally bright that is and it's just throwing it absolutely everywhere isn't it and flashlights normally aren't very good at uh, highlighting lakes like this but um, this one's doing it with that much light coming off it certainly everybody knows I'm here Wind it down a touch. Amazing. Let me swap the batteries and see whether I can see any difference. So I've just swapped my batteries and I've got my HS20 on here, <laughs> on turbo. Uh, let's put the Q8 Plus on. turbo mode. Well, it's my little HS20 all together, hasn't it? Um, let's have a look down the side of this lake. 
Now the lux meter says that we're getting more power if you use a high drain battery. So far and say we're going to get more power if we use a high drain battery. I can't see it to be honest um, because that's the heat restriction kicking in there. See I'm just having to raise it back up again. I'll just take it down a touch and let it cool off. I, I'm not actually seeing, perhaps it's my old eyes, um, any significant difference with, uh, between the batteries that Sofern provided and these Molly cells. Uh, I know there is a difference because the looks meter showed me a difference, but it's that bright. I'm just not sure that the human eye is capable of picking up. I mean, there's bright, isn't there? As bright air. But crack, it's blooming bright. Um, I don't think, if it was me, I would recommend that you wait for that train to go by. Sorry, as I was saying. Uh, I don't think if it was me, I would recommend splashing out an extra 30 quid to buy some Molly Cell 45s, for example, um, when I'm just not seeing that I'm going to get £30 worth of improvement, if that makes sense, over the batteries that the kit comes with. Bear in mind, what was that, an extra $13 for the kit batteries? Matter of opinion, of course. Uh, oh, Christ, that's getting hot. Let me jump back to my uh, trusty headlight. Looks a bit pathetic now, this does, doesn't it? Yeah, so as I was saying, me personally, I think I'd want to stick uh, with the, you know, um, value for money wise, the $13 for the three Samsung batteries instead of splashing out an extra 30. I just couldn't see the difference. Now, folks, let me show you now the Q8 Plus versus the Q8 Pro. I'm going to have to be quick and careful with this, otherwise as the turbo starts to kick in or the heat control starts to kick in. OK, let me get a kind of moderately tight distance on there. And of course I haven't got three hands, so I've got my Q8 Plus here in my right hand and the Pro on our left and let's just ramp them both straight up to full Q8 Plus Q8 Pro as we can see the Plus They're both on turbo. Q8 Plus, Q8 Pro. Plus, Pro. Both bright, aren't they? But now with the the plus here kind of creeping in, that is overlaying the Pro version. But they're both phenomenal performers. And yeah, the Pro is, sorry, the, the Plus is re engage the turbo. There's another step up for us. It's a tough choice though, isn't it, between them? Um, I just mentioned, you know, they're both just blinding myself there with one and burning myself with the other. There we go. It's a tough choice between the two. But for the ultimate power, the plus wins, doesn't it? Beg your pardon. Yeah, the plus wins. So for the, the ultimate output, the, the plus wins with the the Pro following a pretty close second but in my humble opinion they both are pretty similar 
you decide folks. So I'm going to head off folks with my little weakling headlamp now and one last blast from Tim. <laughs> yep, catch you soon folks, have a good night. Let's have a look and see how long we get um, on turbo mode. That's going to be bright. And what do we say on the lux meter? 625. Just leave it going. Still going strong just after a minute, aren't we? What are we doing temperature wise? Not too bad. Let's leave it going. Looks like I just caught it on the step down there, didn't I? Yes, I did. So, what are we approaching? That was about one and a half minutes, wasn't it? We're now approaching two minutes. Temperature-wise, not too bad. Feels pretty toasty, though. Uh, so, a good one and a half minutes on uh, on full power before we started to back off. And it held it pretty well, you noticed there, didn't it? Uh, we did lose a little initial bit right at the very beginning, uh, but it certainly held the output um, pretty consistently there for well into a minute and a half, perhaps a little bit more.